Hello Sagittarius and welcome to Positive Light Tarot. My name is Tracy and I am so happy you're here with me today. This is your weekly reading for October 28th to November 3rd. <clears throat> we're going to get right into your reading. I'm going to start with your incoming energies and then we're going to do a nine card tarot spread. Uh, we'll get a little bit more of a breakdown as to what those energies mean and what's happening for the week. So please remember that this is a general reading. Take the parts that resonate and leave the rest. And if it does resonate, please consider leaving comments. It really helps me to connect with your energy and I really truly appreciate it. All right, Sagittarius, let's find out what your incoming energies are. Spirit Angels Guides, incoming energies for Sagittarius. Wow, looks like you got a lot of people around you. It's a week of people. We've got number three, people, friends, and colleagues. And we also have number seven, people, professional assistants. Wow, so it looks like there's a lot of multiple types of people circulating around you. Let's find out what's happening with your current energies because the bottom of the deck for me is the current energies that you were bringing into the reading. So let's find out what's happening here. All right. All right, so we've got number three, consciousness, dark thoughts. Number one, cycle, new beginnings. And number three, events, commitment, contract, agreement. What are these dark thoughts, Sagittarius? Now, I'm also Sun Sagittarius. So I, uh, and I do have Sagittarius in many placements in my, in my birth chart as well. So I, I do connect with your energy quite, quite well. Um, dark thoughts, I, I know for myself, I can have dark thoughts once in a while. Absolutely. I think any of us really can, especially when, you know, we kind of feel like we're in a concrete maze. We're not quite sure, you know, do we go left? Do we go right? Do we go straight? I feel like I'm at a standstill. So what it does is it starts to be, starts to kind of bring in some negative energy. And I think that you, you, your dark thoughts might have a, have a result of the fact that you have a fear. There is some new beginnings that are happening around you and where there's new beginnings, there's change, there's adjustments, you know, uh, uh, and those things that are circulating around you sometimes can bring dark thoughts. I think it's part of human nature. Number three events, you have commitment here, a contract of some sort. So something that you have committed yourself to, some sort of contract that you might be negotiating or that maybe is coming up for a renewal. Uh, you know, you are having some dark thoughts about whether or not there are going to be some new beginnings. Uh, it could be, again, you know, you, you really want to continue on with the job that you're doing. Uh, you're just a feeling a little bit negative because, again, it could be that renewal period where there might be some negotiations so that you can feel a new fresh start. The new beginnings, also, or I'm sorry, the dark thoughts could also just be your fear of change. And it looks like things could be changing around you. Now, uh, uh, for some of you, I really do think it has a lot to do with some sort of commitment or a contract. I think there are new beginnings that are really just waiting there to, to, to start for you. Uh, what's holding you back from the new beginnings is your, is your mindset. So we have to figure out how, how do we readjust our mindset? How do we bring more positivity into that? I think that people around you are really going to help you. I think they're going to motivate you. I think they're, that they are going to give you the information and they're going to share with you. They're going to share in your ups and they're going to share with your down, share in the downs with you. And I think your friends and colleagues are going to prove to be very beneficial for you this week. I think you could be outsourcing some professional assistance and it could be maybe you are ready to write a resume and maybe that's what this contract is all about, that you are revising your, your contract because you're ready for a new beginning. Maybe the dark thoughts are that you want to change your life drastically, what you're doing drastically, and that is going to re re require some support from friends, colleagues, and some professional assistance. So let's see, Sagittarius, what your messages are behind these energies. So we're going to get your nine cards. And we're going to start here. I'm going to get the nine cards first, and then we are going to go row by row. But I will get the nine cards initially first. So let's start for the first row, Spirit Angels Guides. This is for the beautiful sign Sagittarius. What is happening for the week? What would you like to share? Thank you. Anything else? All right, so we've got... I will read them in a moment. Once we get all nine cards, I will read each one of them for you. All right, let's start with the second row. Center of the reading. We've got the center of the reading right there. Wow, look at you. Your head is hurting. There's so much thought going into things. This is those dark thoughts. All right. 
And let's get the last card there for that row. Spirit Angels Guides. For the beautiful sign Sagittarius. We have two beautiful cards there. And now we're going to get the last row. We've got one right there. And last one. We've got a nice pair here. Wow. Do not be afraid of the dark thoughts. Do not be afraid of that energy because it's all about to change. All right. So you got the two of wands, two of wands, nine of wands, and the queen of cups. The second row you have got number five, the hierophant, Taurus energy. In the center of reading, you've got five of swords. And then you have the three of wands, and number 19, the sun. When the sun shows up in a reading, it doesn't matter what negative cards are around it, the sun will, will put those negative thoughts to rest. It's time to think optimistic. Queen of Pentacles, and then the King of Pentacles, so a beautiful pair here, followed by the Six of Wands. All right, let's delve into this. We're going to start with the Two of Wands over here. So we're starting with the first row here, the Two of Wands. You are looking out the window, you're holding your wand, meaning you're very passionate because wands are fiery energy. Uh, actually, it's very much Aries energy. So, you know, you are ready to take the world by storm. I think you are in the preparation phases. I think that you are ready to embark on your journey. And, you know, you, you've, you've, it's almost as if uh, you have your travel plans already laid out for you. You know where you want to go, whether you are traveling somewhere or whether that travel just means that you are really trying to discover what your new beginning is. And again, you are sort of in the planning phase and you are really welcoming uh, this, this, this plan and you really want to figure out how to put it into action. Along with that, you got the Nine of Wands, which is, of course, this is very much Sagittarius energy. So you are showing up in your own reading with that Nine of Wands. I think that you always, I think you are having to set some boundaries in your life. I think that there are people in your life that you're having to set boundaries with. I think that you're finding it very challenging uh, to, to have to do this, but it's not something that you can't handle. Again, sometimes there are challenges and obstacles that kind of seem to creep up every once in a while. And especially if you are on the brink of something new and you really are planning something with a lot of feeling very motivated and feeling very positive about what it is you are trying to uh, bring into light for yourself. Again, it's like a new vision and new beginning. Uh, whatever challenges, again, you can weather any storm. Sagittarius, it, it's who you are. It's how you're built. And then you've got the Queen of Cups, and I think this is you as well. Uh, it is watery energy, so water signs are going to be your Scorpio, uh, Pisces, and, and um, Cancer signs. But also, too, uh, we are in Scorpio season, so keep that in mind. And some of you could be on the cusp of Scorpio and Sagittarius. With this Queen of Cups, very intuitive. Her crown is blue. She is very much into her spirituality. She is, her crown chakra, for me, I feel like the Queen of Cups, her crown chakra is just so enlightened, like it's so Ill aligned. She, uh, it, she thinks with her heart, uh, she feels with her heart, and she, love is very important to her, and love around her is very important to her. And people are drawn to her because of her loyalty, and she is an, an extreme, extremely trustworthy person. And I think that you yourself can really trust in your own spiritual insights as well. And intuition right now with the new moon, which we have a uh, new moon in Scorpio on November 1st. And it is all about that heightened sense of, of, um, of your intuition. And I think that it's really shining through here. So let's start with your clarifying cards here with the first row. So the two of wands, let's find out. You are planning something and you are ready to put your plans into action. Uh, you are definitely ready for a, a new journey. You're ready to embark on something. For some of you, maybe it will, re, will, maybe it will have something to do with travel, uh, whether it's traveling the world by van, <laughs> which we can see here, or maybe you have just decided that you, you are really adding some foreign, foreign countries into your, your plan. You could be thinking about world travel. All right, Page of Pentacles. Uh, I think there's a new opportunity that's presenting itself and it's something that is, uh, it, could be re it could be, again, you uh, taking a new course, a new certificate, getting a, furthering your degree, 
Um, you're, you're, the feather is in your cap right now, meaning that, you know what, this is a very lucrative time for you to be embarking on a journey that's going to give you more education. I think that you are uh, somebody who really, really delves into all of that anyway. Uh, you are very philosophical. You are independent. You're generous, ethical. Uh, you are a seeker, a seeker of adventure. You also are a seeker of knowledge, and that's very important to you. And I think that, you know, um, your enthusiasm um, is really guiding you towards getting uh, learning something new you're learning something new and that has a lot to do with this new plan that you are devising uh, it's something that is really bringing you um, um, more offers and more opportunities let's find out why you're feeling this challenge with this nine of wands you're setting boundaries and there's nothing wrong with setting boundaries either we have to do that in life sometimes and um, look at that whatever challenges that you've been feeling and again i think a lot of them could be circulating around those dark thoughts uh, that cycle is changing for you. The 10 of the Wheel of Fortune is ruled by Jupiter, and that is your ruling planet, Sagittarius. So you are showing up in your reading. So very strong energies of Sagittarius here. Nine of Wands, if you've been feeling like you've been having challenges and that you've been having to set boundaries to protect yourself and to protect maybe those around you as well, maybe to protect your own vision. The wheel is turning in your favor and, and it's it's good luck and fortune com coming your way. And I, it comes after a time of really where I think you've been feeling a little bit, um, feeling like those negative thoughts or those dark thoughts have really been consuming you. And you've really been trying to get yourself out of that energy, but you haven't known exactly how to do it. So destiny is setting it, uh, stepping in here. The universe is stepping in and saying, okay, enough is enough. You've had an, uh, You've had enough challenges. Now that wheel is turning and it's turning on the upside for you. Let's find out with the Queen of Cups because, again, I think your intuition is definitely a guiding tool for you. I think it really does help you um, make decisions in your life because I think you have a lot of spiritual wisdom. Let's find out with the Queen of Cups. And you got the Three of Swords. I think something has deeply hurt you in the past. You could be going through something that has deeply hurt you. And again, uh, that comes with those dark thoughts. The only way for you to embark on a new beginning and to really feel a, a sense of a revitalized energy is to repair something that has hurt you in a way. The Three of Swords is like a healing card. So again, we what you have to do is you have to figure out what you need to do in, in, in order to take those Three Swords out of your heart. And when you are able to release that and let go of that energy, you are going to, you, you aren't going to feel, um, you aren't going to feel the pain of this anymore. I think that you, uh, your heart can be broken easily uh, because, again, I think that you are a very generous person. I think that you are somebody who is a very honest person. And sometimes when we're honest and sometimes when we're, we, we give so much of our heart, our heart can be broken a little bit easier. I want you to see that, yes, that has been a challenge for you. And maybe that, maybe, maybe your sensitivity to those things um, is what prevents you from starting something new. You're afraid of those challenges. Uh, but that wheel is turning for you. The luck is on your side now. So again, there's nothing that can then that can hold you back um, from your vision. And I think your vision is going to really become even more pronounced for you when you when you look into some professional assistance. And that professional assistance could be you going back to school or you again looking for some advice on how to gain more knowledge because that is what's going to set you up for your new beginning. Here we've got the Hierophant. So the Hierophant uh, number five, uh, that is Taurus energy. And, you know, this uh, has a lot to do with, I think this has a lot to do with your faith, your spirituality, your commitment to things in life. I think you hold your, your, your beliefs. Your belief system is, is very, very sacred to you. And your religious beliefs are also very important to you. And, you know, you stand your ground when, when you are um, put up against uh, any sort of challenge, if somebody's challenging you in any way. Uh, this Hierophant is the, the liaison, really, between the spiritual world, the religious world from heaven and, and earth. And I think that you are, I think you truly are receiving messages that are really helping you uh, spiritually to move on from things that have hurt you and to actually help facilitate a change in the cycle in your life. So let's find out with the Hierophant, what the clarifying card is with that beautiful Hierophant there. 
I think you're a very strong person. I think you're strong in your convictions. I think you're very strong in your beliefs. And, uh, and I think that that's what makes you such an honest person. And sometimes that makes us a little bit more vulnerable. And that's why your heart can break a little bit more. Well, that one wanted to come out there. Queen of Swords. Wow, interesting. So we've got some, uh, we've got some air energy here. I think that you are looking uh, at tr trying to take the approach of getting facts and getting truth rather than trying to get uh, to the truth of everything with your heart. Uh, sometimes we have to leave our heart out of things. We have to leave our emotions out of things in order to be able to get the answers that we need. The Queen of Swords could be the professional assistance that you're looking for. No gender with any of these cards. Very much independent. If she is, or he, again, because there's no gender, um, is someone who is of air sign, that would be Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra energy. She holds the solar sword of truth and she wears that crown with the third eye protection on it. She is communicative. She communicates things in a very tactful way. Honesty is very important to her too. And she is very much about getting to the truth. So I think that you are figuring out, I think you're going through an enlightening or spiritual time where you are really starting to receive messages. Uh, I think your higher self is receiving messages to really help you figure out what it is you need to do to make some significant changes in your life so that you can bring about those new beginnings. The center of your reading is the five of swords. You can see you're holding your head as if uh, like you've got this headache. It's like this impounding headache and, and it doesn't seem to want to go away because you can't stop thinking. I think you're thinking about so many different things and I think that you're also, I think there's a lot of messages that are coming in. I, I, I'm take, I might take this card completely different from the way most people do because usually the five of swords is, is like a, a hollow victory, a victory that can be a little bit empty and it could be how you're feeling right now and it could be why your head is kind of pounding. But, but, but for some of you, Sagittarius, I don't know if you're finding that you're having headaches lately. Um, headaches could be uh, something that you're encountering right now. It could be a challenge for you. And I think it's just because you have so many thought processes going through your mind because again, you are, are at this pivotal time in your life right now where you are making some significant changes. Those dark thoughts are what are giving you that headache and you have to figure out to, to figure out how you are going to, to bring victory to that, how you are going to close that cycle out. Let's find out with your clarifying card. Let's see what that is for you, Sagittarius. And you got the four of pentacles. You are holding on tightly to something that it, I think it's really time that you need to, to figure out how you transform your energy. Um, you hold on tightly to everything in your life. You hold on to your pain. You hold on to, to love. You hold on to um, people in your life. Like you hold on to everything so with so much power. And, and I think it's causing you some mental confusion. And I think that you have to figure out something to release in your life. And I think the only way that you're going to figure out how to release this is through your friends because you've got some really supportive friends and colleagues around you. And I think some professional advice. So for some of you, it could be that you need to speak to, uh, maybe you need to speak to a professional about your headaches. Um, those headaches could also be uh, signs of, um, I, I think you are receiving so many messages that it's clouding your vision right now. We have to figure out how we release some of that information that is coming in so quickly so that you can uh, prioritize it a little bit better. Prioritizing things will help you be able to release the things that you need to let go of. You need to let go of whatever has hurt you so that you can move forward. Now, I'm loving these cards together here with the Three of Wands and the number 19, the Sun. The Three of Wands is looking at things from a distance. And I, I really believe that the plans that you were making at the beginning here with the Two of Wands, you, you know, you want to take action. Um, you are, are thinking that the plans are far, far out in the distance when in actuality, they are coming in a lot quicker than you think. The sun is what is motivating that energy too. And the sun, I think you need more sunshine in your life. The sun is going to actually help relieve you uh, from the, this, this, this headache that doesn't seem to want to go away. 
Uh, you will be able to release this because the sun energy is going to help you release things that no longer serve their purpose for you. It's figuring out what those things are. And that's the hardest part, right? It's kind of fragmented energy. You're feeling a little bit like your energy is, is all over the place. We need to prioritize so that we can release the things that no longer serve us. Uh, the three of wands though is you, you, you need to realize that you have a bigger vision than, than you even know. And that that vision isn't that far away. It's actually creeping up quite quickly and the sun is what is generating the movement so things are moving in a lot quicker for you let's find out what your clarifying card is for the three of wands and the sun and you got the nine of cups and it is your wish fulfillment so things are aligning nicely for you you have to remember cycles are changing for you in a positive way. Your wish fulfillment is for the sun to shine on your endeavors here and the new beginnings that are starting to come in and around for you. Uh, the new adventures that are waiting for you are just around the corner and it is your wish fulfillment. It is going to provide you with the fulfillment you're looking for. I love that you have the queen of pentacles and the king of pentacles. This is, could be a couple, a very powerful couple too. Um, very, very um, resourceful are these, they're the queen and the king of pentacles. And uh, along with the Queen and King of Pentacles, you have the Six of Wands, which is very much Leo energy. You are being praised for something. There's rewards at the end of all of this. So again, let's find out with this Queen of Pentacles. I think this could be your energy. Now, for some of you, this could be uh, Capricorn energy. Pentacles are Earth signs, so Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. Sagittarius, some of you could be on the cusp of Capricorn. So very, very much your energy could be coming through here as well. Queen of Pentacles, resourceful. She knows what she wants and she uh, she's very nurturing, but she makes sure the people around her have the things that they want, but she also has worked very hard. You're working hard towards your goal here and you are going to achieve whatever you set yourself out. Whatever you're setting your vision for, you will achieve it. Absolutely. And if it is getting more education, you will get more education and you will be the t at the top of your game. Number 11, justice. So everything is going to turn out in a fair and balanced way for you. If you've been waiting on some sort of a decision or you've been waiting for even healing, um, this healing, uh, you know, is, is coming through with a lot of fairness and a lot of balance. Libran energy, uh, Libran energy is, uh, is um, air energy. And again, uh, Libra is really wanting to shine through here in your, in your reading, especially with the uh, Queen of Swords right next to it. Uh, sometimes it is about leaving your emotions out of something to really just get to, the, uh, to get to the truth of the matter. And that is what's going to set you free. So justice is going to set you free and you are going to restore balance in your life. The King of Pentacles, again, the King, King energy. There's no gender with any of these cards. Very much leadership energy. Uh, I see in your future, uh, you really... Um, standing true to your vision and I believe that you will see a lot of success. Two knights wanted to come out here. So these are messengers. To me, these can be messengers as well. The knight of wands is Sagittarius energy. The knight of pentacles uh, is earth energy. Slow moving energy and fast moving energy. Very interesting. They're kind of two completely different energies. Uh, I think that the Sagittarius energy is just shining through for you. It's meaning that on one hand, you really want to move quickly to your destination. You are ready and you are fired up and you are motivated to, to really um, set things in motion. Now, the Knight of Pentacles is the knight that is slow moving. He's methodical. He plans out every step because he wants to see long-term results. The Knight of Wands is out for an adventure. So I think that you've got sort of two, two different aspects of this venture for yourself. Um, I think that you can be um, this uh, exuberant energy and I think that you are ready for the adventure and I think that you're ready to uh, take the reins. But I think you also have to develop uh, your mindset to know that everything that you are doing is actually going to produce long-term benefits for you. It might take some time to get there but what you will eventually achieve is the King of Pentacles. And the King of Pentacles sits on his throne. He's leaving a legacy because he is, he is, uh, he is definitely in a financially sound position. He's gained a lot of insight through his struggles, through his, through his uh, obstacles, through his challenges. 
He has learned a lot and now he can share that with other people. And I think that that's exactly where you are aspiring to be and you will because you've got the motivation, but you also realize that it takes time to build your success. So having that balance is what's gonna bring even more success for you. Six of Wands is the victory, so you are gonna receive a victory here. Uh, you are going to feel extremely happy with your new beginning. And you got new beginnings here. So Ace of Cups, beautiful way to end this. You are um, very intuitive, follow your intuition. It's extremely heightened right now with that new moon in Scorpio on November 1st. Uh, this Ace of Cups is extreme emotional abundance. And no matter what heartache you have been through, your wish fulfillment is to, to feel that sun, sunshine shining on you. And that Ace of Cups is new commitments, it's new contracts, it's new beginnings, it's new abundance. And you're really feeling as if this is an achievement that is well-deserved. And it is well-deserved because it's something that you have been holding on to for some time. And now that vision is starting to uh, unveil for you. All right, Sagittarius, let's get your moon card with the new moon. Let's find out what your moon energy is. Spirit, angels, guides, thank you. Thank you. Anything else? All right, we've got two cards for you. South Node, don't let the past hold you back. That's the Three of Swords. Do not let anything from the past hold you back. Allow the healing process to take place so that you can feel balance restored and you can start to feel that, that sense of um, uh, justice and that sense of equality um, and really fairness. So don't let the past hold you back. Keep pushing forward. And then it says Cardinal Moon. Very interesting as well. So be bold and make the first move. Cardinal signs are your Capricorn signs as well. They are cardinal. Uh, so that could very well have a lot to do with it. Be bold and make the first move. Also too, Aries is a cardinal sign and so is Libra and Cancer. So if that makes sense to any of you, but be bold and make the first move. Don't let the whole past hold you back. Just do it. All right, let's get your Archangel messages. These are the messages from your angels, specific messages from your angels. Archangel Michael, what would you like to share with the beautiful sign Sagittarius? All right, your archangel wants you to have number 35. Trust the guidance you're receiving. Again, Archangel Uriel has blessed you with a brilliant epiphany. I, I am also present to clear away your worries so you can trust your divine guidance. And a lot of that, I think that five of swords is you and those headaches, it's that worry. You know, it's you holding on so tightly to things. Now what they're saying is trust in the guidance you're receiving. Maybe release something to your angels so that they can help you. All right, because there's divine guidance there for you. And then Archangel Michael, number three, he is with you now. So Archangel Michael is with you now, even though you can't see it. I am actively working on the situation and I am here helping you. So again, you've got so many blessings around you. You have so many angel support systems around you as well. So lovely energy. All right, so let's see if we've got any repeating numbers here to see if there's anything that really stands out. Um, you do have a couple of threes. Absolutely. You've got a lot of people around you, which I'm not shocked. You've got the kings, you've got the queens, you've got the knights, lots of friends and colleagues as well. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm seeing that really the only, only card that you've had a couple of times here would be the number three. So keep that in mind. Uh, very important for you this week. Let's get your angel message. Yeah. And you know what? Three, let's do keep three in mind. Cause you've got the two threes plus you've got number three here with Archangel Michael as well. All right. And number three people, sorry, I'm going to keep seeing threes. Now you've got threes everywhere. Oh my goodness. And they want you to have three cards. Wow. Okay. Very interesting. Four, 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 four. Blessings in disguise. So obstacles, hardships, strength, building character and experience. So there might be some difficulties ahead, but you will push through. You got this. If you have been struggling or feeling lost, the winds of change will blow in your favor. If you've been suffering or feel, if you've been suffering or feeling lost, some things may fall apart but you're building the framework for something much better. Hang in there. Absolutely. So blessing in disguise. Then they want you to have 101 starting over. That's those new beginnings. You are starting over. Intelligence dynamics, making a difference. Failures, personal or spiritual development. So happiness is linked to self-expression, growth, and experience. Learning from failures is key. 
Happiness is real, possible, and around. Understand its process and the pursuit of it. Joy is fluid. It's in all the little things and the big ones. Start fresh. One, zero, one. And then your last card, cycles. We know that cycles are changing with that wheel of fortune. Uh, 19, 19. So karma, warning, judgment, influence, power, cycles, changes, and a rebirth. So karma will be playing, paying you a visit. And that can be that justice card as well. Release the need to control because you cannot force things. Learn your lessons so that you don't repeat in the future. Make some space for new experiences, for new beginnings. Very much, inter very interesting here with the three cards that, that, that the angels have chosen for you. Blessings in disguise. You're starting over and that's a blessing in disguise. And understand that cycles are changing for you and that they are helping you to make space for new experiences. Thank you so much, Sagittarius, for joining me today. I hope that you found some meaning in, these, in, these read, in the reading today. Please let me know. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Please share, like, and subscribe. And until next time, sending you love, light, and positive vibes.